Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, here uh, in this lecture, we'll work on this login form. So we can validate and can uh, check out the user. He has the correct credentials for login. So we can uh, allow him to allow him her to access the account. So we'll come straight to the customer underscore login page. We already created and uh, after the form take here we will insert our PHP block and we need to check out here there is nothing so we'll first of all add a PHP block there we'll start session and after that include the database inside the includes folder we have db.php file that has a database connection so we can access that later on so the first thing is very fast which is fs set command if it's set dollar underscore post i mean this input field type submit and its name is login that's it if that is clicked or active then what should uh, be done it's very simple you will create two variables uh, c underscore email is equal to dollar underscore post and that is email I think I need to check yes that is email and the second is pass so c email will save in the local variable and c pass will be saved in this c pass local variable and the data we will take from this input field which name is pass now after that we need to check out we will simply say uh, select underscore customer is equal to inside the two scurly brackets not the two scurly brackets basically the inside the two double quotes we will say select all uh, from customers where customer underscore pass is equal to this c underscore pass and customer underscore email is equal to this coming email c email which the person is entering now that's it and now we will run this query run underscore c is equal to mysqli underscore query and uh, we'll put connection and then very simply say the above variable that we have created and saved the query in this one actually and now we'll count basically we'll create check customer is equal to mysql i num underscore rows and we are checking this run c whether we have the customer or not now we'll simply use if statement for this check customer and we'll say if this is equal to zero that means we don't have the user we'll say echo script javascript and we'll say we'll give an alert to that user inside single quotes we'll say password or email is incorrect please try again and an else statement no we need to check out this script now go there and we can also add the HTML5 validation to the text fields input fields here here required 
and required here control s to save now come here and refresh the page and uh, it is saying a session had already been started ignoring session 0 and then customer login uh, 2 this is saying that this session, has, uh, this session has already been started in another page I mean in the checkout page so we just removed that now refresh ok so if someone clicks the login button without uh, entering anything so that will give a message please fill out this field now I will just uh, write something wrong I mean wrong password and wrong username and I will click login so it will give me uh, a message password or email is incorrect please try again and if when this uh, the user credential login credential is ok correct so after that what we can do is the next thing but before that we will uh, also check the cart uh, we have a page customer registration so from here we can just simply copy the cart this whole using control C and we'll paste it here I mean we are we, we are also going to check the cart we'll include the functions page here as well include functions backslash functions dot php page which has a function for getting the IP address of the user so we have included that as well now we will simply say uh, there will be a, a variable IP is equal to get IP so we can now say select from cart where IP address is equal to this IP and uh, now we can check this cart we'll say if uh, if if customer check customer check customer is greater than zero and uh, check card is check underscore card is also greater than 0 I mean is equal to 0 then we are going to simply send this person to their account I will again copy this thing I mean sessions and the echo statements from here we'll just paste it here session registered which is CML we have that above here C underscore email that is the session and uh, account has been uh, sorry now we will write something else you logged in successfully thanks and we will the uh, you know we will redirect this person to customer backslash my underscore account dot php and in in else condition we will simply put that again session and we will say uh, you logged in successfully thanks and we will uh, redirect this person to checkout.php in case the customer uh, the customer has one order in the cart I'm so sorry w one item in the cart if the cur uh, customer has added one product into the cart and now is going to order that product or to purchase that product in that case we are redirecting him to checkout.php where we already have set the session and we have included the payment page 
but in case he or she does not have uh, an order so they will be redirected to their account which we have not yet created but we will create in a later chapter simply go press the page and there is a problem fetch get IP previous declare in this there's function that 20 okay very simply we will remove this from here because this page we have already included in another page control is to save now come press the page because actually we have uh, we have added this uh, functions this page is actually included inside the checkout page so therefore uh, we have already added the functions to checkout so we don't need that again okay so <coughs> we actually needed to add exact command or here exact command means that uh, the rest of the page will not be executed if the email or password is wrong that's now we can do once again log out go to cart check out and here we add something wrong it will give us a message password or email is incorrect that's okay fine now we will just enter our real password we have or here I mean Abdul uh, aw Prashan at gmail.com is my email and Wali is the password so I will just enter that exact details Wali is the password and that is the email I will log in and you logged in successfully thanks I will okay so it has redirected me to the payment page because I have one product in the cart so I can either purchase it online now directly using the PayPal option so that's done very simply you can just uh, once again read the code we have simply uh, check out the cart and the customer as well we have the customer so we can uh, send them to their account if they don't have the products once again we can uh, lo log out and we can simply uh, go to cart and we'll remove this product think there is some problem inside the some problem occurred inside the card page I think anyways I will check out that we have some problem in the card I will uh, remove it from here I have removed it now uh, come here press this there is no pro product so if the person going uh, person is going to log in or coming from there or anywhere so that will be directly going to their account basically I have entered the password and email address now I will click login so it's saying you logged in successfully but there is no product in the card so it should not go to the payment page okay and it has taken the person to customer backslash my, under, uh, my underscore account at php which is actually not available because we have not created that page yet uh, so in next video or uh, after next lecture we will create that my account page and the customer account stay tuned